My name is Mike Rainsborough and I work with the University of West of England and the University of Bristol and Bristol Bio um, to support the scientists here doing responsible research and innovation. And I've in the past worked with um, King's College London on the Human Brain Project, also doing computational biology in neuroscience and with the Center for Nanotechnology and Society at Arizona State University. So today we'll be talking about what is responsible research and innovation. Basically things that start in the lab um, and if they're successful they come out and they go out into society so they have some impacts. There has been a call to um, address um, what types of things come out of the lab and how we can better make science socially useful uh, science to be engaged with um, the world that we live in in a productive manner. If something in the lab is successful, then it comes out of the lab and goes out into the world. So many, much of the responsible research and innovation is addressing um, what happens in the laboratory. One model is the area model that has been promoted by the EPSRC, the research councils in the United Kingdom. And this is to advocate being anticipatory, to reflect uh, to engage and to act so that scientists um, think about the future and um, engage with uh, publics and reflect upon their role within the research economies and what they're going to accomplish and to bring that all together in a manner that's mutually responsive so the different actors in the research system learn from one another um, the publics learn from the scientists the scientists learn from the public stakeholder engagement happens um, and bring that together so that the research agenda is adjusted. And, the, and one of the questions, of course, is who does the ethics? Well, it's not actually a researcher like myself who's a, an RRI researcher, a responsible research and innovation researcher. I'm researching the process. It's actually the scientists and, um, who work in the lab, um, the administrators, the policy people, um, commercial interests are also responsible for being, uh, doing responsible research and innovation. And um, I'm there to support them, but the ethics is actually done by the people who are most qualified to know what the impacts of the work in their lab will be.